Welcome back to another video. My name is Tyler. I go by Zany Online. Now that we've gotten through that little introduction period right there, let's move on to what today's video is about. As you can tell from the title, we're talking about Liquid CTL. What is Liquid CTL? Well, it is a nice little tool for controlling your AIO, you know, water. Uh, by the way, if you're unfamiliar with what AIO is, uh, well, for one, you probably don't have one, but Hey, let's say you do. AIO is all in one uh, water cooler and they're uh, getting really popular nowadays. Um, still, they're not the best choice if you want something that's going to last you very, very long. Because like, let's be honest, the more moving parts you have in something, the more you know chances for failure there, there are. But the pumps inside of these things are normally very, very reliable. Now, so if you're completely new to what liquid CTL is and these AIO uh, pump water coolers, you might have the impression that you can't control your water coolers from inside something like Linux. You would need the proprietary software and Windows to be able to run that software to be able to set your set up your water cooler. And then with certain pumps uh, and water coolers like mine here, they don't have onboard memory. They don't just store your profiles and go on about its life. So um, it's nice to have things like Liquid CTL uh, be made because it's uh, there are stuff like Open RGB where you can control a whole bunch of RGB devices in your computer, but Liquid CTL allows you to control more than just the RGB of your water coolers. That it also allows you to set the fan speeds, pump speed, etc. And so today I'm just going to go and show you how you can go through and set it up. Let's dive into it. All right, so first things first, depending on which Linux system you're on, you're gonna to want to install it. And Liquid CTL is one of those things where it is in a lot, and I mean a lot of repos. So I'm gonna do do as, if you're using sudo, type that in. And then I'm on Debian at the very current moment. So let's do an apt git install and then Liquid CTL, type that in put in your password and then accept and it's going to go through here and it'll install and after it's done installing now what you can do and so you can actually load up the website and I'll throw that up on the screen right now and this will give you a very comprehensive guide of what you're going to want to be doing and we're just going to follow through with some of the stuff they're doing inside of their github page all right so first things first what we're going to do is a liquid ctl list and this is going to tell you what devices it can see inside of here and you'll see it just detects my one and only aio water cooler in here um, so we have my corsair h100i platinum and now using liquid CTL is very, very easy. Um, from now on, we're gonna actually run it with Duas because we're actually gonna be changing stuff and to be able to access the device and change it, it's gonna need root privileges. So we're gonna do Duas liquid CTL and then initialize. And actually for this one, I don't believe you need to run this as, um, um, administrator, but we're still going to go ahead and do it. And so now that it's been initialized, you'll see it gets fir a firmware version. And I don't know if my mic will pick it up, but the fans are now spinning at a hundred percent because we've initialized it. And so liquid CTL is now controlling it, but we don't really have anything set up for how to like, we don't have any settings for the fans or anything like that. So it's just going to start spinning full bore right now. And so I will go ahead and uh, the picture for the thumbnail and everything will be exactly how the RGB looks right now. It's just the bog standard rainbow unicorn puke that you get with RGB setups out of the gate, which come on, looks terrible, but whatever. So let's go ahead and let's actually set the fan speed on here because it's pretty loud. So we're going to do do as liquid CTL 
and we're going to do dash dash match and we're going to match for h 100 i and because that's in the name there and so it'll look for that keyword find our device and then we want to do set fan speed and we're going to do um so the way it works here is you're going to want to set it at like 20 and then space so like this is at 20 degrees celsius what do you want the fan speed to be at and we'll set it to uh, 20 percent here uh, and then at 30 we'll have it set to 30 and then at 40 degrees we'll jump it up to 60 and then because uh, i like a little bit of a steeper curve at 55 we'll set it at 80 and at uh 60 uh, now we'll do it 70 degrees 100 going full bore and so now if i run that and give it my password again i don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not but the fans are slowly ramping down down to a much more reasonable fan speed and that's really the gist of how easy using liquid ctl is so if we go back up here and just because i'm lazy and i don't want to type if we go set led color and then you could do different things here but i don't know about you guys but for me i like i like having a matching setup so you can i, I don't know it just looks more cohesive for me but um for doing something like a fixed color again just well I, I gave it away there it's just fixed um so you'll just type in set led color fixed and then uh without the actual like hashtag or whatever you want to call that um just put in the hex code for it so let's just say it was cc 00 cc i can't remember if this is the right one that i that i'm actually using right now but we're going to try it out we'll see uh oh gotta put in the password um it's a little bit off so that's not actually the one I, uh, i'm using but eh, it's okay it ain't that big of a deal and then the next thing that we could jump into is how to set it up using system d services which is superbly easy um and the one thing I do like about Liquid CTL is it does walk you through it on their GitHub page, which again, I'll be showing that off right now. And if you, you can literally just go there, copy paste that, and then remove and uh, replace commands uh, there. Again, don't change anything. If, you, if for some reason you don't know what's going on at any point during that, don't change anything other than the commands that you do know what's going on where it's setting something. If you need to change that or you don't want to do that, change that there. And now another thing that we could have done here is cha uh, change my pump speed, but let's be honest, it it's fine. Uh, on on most, most water coolers, the pump speed is fine it will default to something sane but you can also check that uh, with different commands but this is using it and using it is really good it's it it's really good it makes managing a uh, rgb and water cooling setup on linux not only possible but very easy and very, very, very intuitive. I, I really like it. They have some superb documentation. So um, if you got a water cooler and uh, you want to make it look better and you, you want to use Linux, don't worry. We've got tools for you. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please hit the like button. Um, if you didn't, I mean, and you'd absolutely hated the video. You can also hit the dislike button, but going to gonna go ahead and be real with you. You two don't care. So, uh, so, uh, you know, dislike at your own risk, but anyway, uh, well, not really risk, but again, anyway, tell me what you thought in the comments below and, uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll see you over on discord, but either way, have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.